Let me turn that down. Uh, that was a bit loud on my ears. Hopefully it's fine on everyone else's side. Uh, tonight, I don't know why. Because I'm a big weirdo, that's why. Hey, Goya. Um, we are going to be playing PlayStation 2's Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. They are very specific about where that name goes in the title, so if you are not familiar with this game, which, you know, you are a lucky individual if that is the case, um, this is Square's attempt to make a third-person shooter, not a first, but a third-person shooter in the Final Fantasy universe. Um, as you can see, 2006 takes place after Final Fantasy VII, before Advent Children, um, I'm trying to remember exactly where in that timeline. If it's one year, two year, uh, it's kind of fuzzy. I think it's two years later, and then Advent Children's three years later. Regardless, after Final Fantasy VII ends, uh, is when this kicks off. So, why is the chat super dark? Hang on, let me see if I can bring this up for a moment. I wonder if there's a filter that got dropped on this bad boy. Filter none. Oh, hang on. That's kind of bugging me. So I can hardly see what's being said. There we go. Alright, so, uh, third person shooter. I originally played it on... I imported it, and the version that was released in Japan versus the version that was released in the US, uh, there were some significant tweaks between the two. Um, I know the biggest one was in Japan, it's when I learned that apparently motion sickness is a big thing over there, because they're not used to having all the shooter games that we do, um, so there's just not, you know, at that point, I'm sure it's different now, but 2006, uh, resulted in a lot of motion sickness, uh, so it was a, I think it was like, it ran at 60% of the speed of what the American release ended up doing, so. Um, canonical, base, happy to see you two join me. Um, I'm gonna go through the tutorial first because I have not played this since 2006 or 7, so it's going to be a bit rusty. Um, I am playing on genuine PS2, um, but I do, I did finally get my hard drive connected to it, um, and the hard drive loader, so now I can just run games right off the hard drive, so load times significantly better. Um, and I might have access to a couple games that I don't physically own, but... Uh, but I'm trying to uh, fix that. But this is one of the games that I do physically own. So please be aware explanations in this tutorial. Utilize the default settings. If settings are adjusted in the config menu, actual controls may differ from those that are presented here. That is fine. Um, I'll go with training mode. Verifying data. Access I haven't... Oh, good old Turk, Vincent. That's a big ass gun. Now loading Turk's administrative research department simulation program. Session one. This exercise will involve the collecting of items as well as simple combat with virtual targets. Okay, I can do that. Please be aware that Shinra Manufacturing is not responsible for any injuries or loss of life caused by the simulation program. <laughs> Thank you, Danger Room. The session, information can be accessed from the TTT terminal. Oh, TTT terminals. Man, man, that is a hand cannon. That is ridiculous. Um, episode prompto started off basically dirge. So, I haven't played those yet. Any of the DLC for Final Fantasy XV because I blasted my way through Final Fantasy XV and... I think I ruined it for myself by doing that. Uh, I keep on meaning to go back to it, it just has not happened yet, so I need to make that a thing sooner than later. <laughs> really, not even the, the episode Arden that wasn't worth going back for? Because I remember being excited for Arden's story, I just, um, like, it was all not in game, so which was the problem. Gotcha, okay. But the uh, other DLC, don't worry about. Gotcha. But I do want to replay the game uh, without the, the stress of life impacting it, so. Alright. Accessing the TTT terminals within 
So they're the TTTT. Um, you can confirm your current objective and view useful advice. Additionally, you may come, uh, you may access the terminal in this room to skip over areas you have already mastered. Oh, I'm right there with you, base, because uh, Aaron A. Like I, I adored that character from the little bit that we had. Uh, I'm hold on, I'm grabbing a drink. Um, I was a little bit partial because the voice actress that that does her character, or uh, Kari Walgren, love her and everything that she does. Um, so I was really bummed when she didn't get that episode. Hey, Callisti, what's up? You know, Canonical, I did play this all the way through, and I do remember... I remember that final level being absolutely insane. Um, for some reason, Roller Coaster comes to mind, and I remember Gact is playing in the background. Um, like, that's the, the... They finally got Gact officially inside of a Final Fantasy game. I, I'm good. I'm very excited to be streaming again, because it was... Uh, this is so weird. The right stick does not do anything. No, Gact actually... I don't... Oh, I don't remember him making an appearance at all in this one, to be honest. Why is nothing doing anything? So I got triangle for that. Triggers aren't doing anything. Oh, you and everyone else in the world, so. Um, I don't know what the sales are for this game, but I can't imagine they were good. Oh, I have no ammo, so how do I break things open? <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. Yeah, I, and Gact was, um... What else was Gact in? There's another one of the games where he was... More or less... Completely ripped off for a character. I think it was Final Fantasy VIII. Like, he was actually, uh... Sorry, the tutorial is not going to work for me. And I realize most games just build the tutorial into the game anyways. But, um, there was a, a famous story of him, that is crazy, uh, at the airport saying goodbye to some people and like, don't worry, you can see me in Final Fantasy VIII later this year. Um, cheeky bastard. He knew that, you know, uh, Nomura just basically stole all his character designs off of Gact. So, this mode offers balance gameplay, difficult, appropriate for players with a little action experience. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, I don't want to get too caught up in difficulty while streaming. We'll say that's the reason. Not not that I'm awful games. <laughs> I know he's... Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Canonical, the last level was on rail shooter. That's that, that sounds very familiar. To be honest, though, I remember it being an absolute blast. And I remember thinking that, like, okay, this is worth the game being as rough as it was. I don't remember how long the game is, though, to be honest. Oh, so, that is very optimistic, Dolby Pro Logic 2. Uh, you are in my headphones. We'll turn on subtitles and the speaker's name. Uh, sight for... And I forget with... With third-person shooters, I always get confused if I play those inverted or not. Hey, Goya. You're making an appearance fairly early. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Um... Like, in first person, I am always 100% uh, inverted, because I'm, you know, normal. Um, Alright, so that's all set. Let's go back. Complete. Yes. Hi. Ooh, Final Fantasy goodness. This makes me so excited. Come on, hurry up and try not to drop anybody this time. Report. 
Yuffie. Okay. Let's get out of here. I love that they put her in this. Just remember to keep on guard until you're clear of the red zone. I don't know what my deal is with Yuffie. She started off as a troll for me, but How about you? Then I realized she's kind of awesome. Finished. But Yuffie, I want you to check the Mako cannon. But we already What? What the Just as I thought. Hold on. Hold on. This is crazy. There's no way anybody could be up there. No! Yuffie, rendezvous with Cloud and the others. It looks like I still have some work to do. Hey! Whoa! Vincent? Get out of there! I have a bad feeling about this! <laughs> She's just such a teenager. I think that's why I have a blast with her. Like, with everything else crazy going on in this world... Um, that she's literally just a kid trying to freaking do right by her village or whatever. Um, I always got a kick out of that. Well, I should say, once I went back and after I was tired, you know, over her murdering my team by stripping my materia and leaving me out to die. Um, once I worked past that, then I loved Yuffie. <laughs> Fragment program. What could that mean? Oh yeah, he is a smooth individual. Three years later. Hmm, okay. So this is after Advent Children Links? I think that was two years. I, I'm, and I know I'm supposed to be the the Final Fantasy VII guy, um, but with the the greater world with compilation, it' a little bit hazy. The game proper, yes. Uh, I just love that they, freaking, that they, they they basically, in my opinion, made this game as an apology so. to the fact that Yuffie and Vincent are optional characters in Seven. We meet again. Wow, he is really uh, baby faced in this. I'll let you mention it. So, so beautifully emo. How do we know they weren't just doing taxes down there? Like, I mean, because they were a legit corporation, and corporations like money. Look at that. Maybe they're just balancing the books down there, right? That's gotta be nefarious. Also, I wish reporters actually used terms like nefarious. I would actually watch the news if that was the case. Today in downtown Detroit, uh, a nefarious plot has been plundered. Uh, that doesn't really happen, though. He's so emo. <laughs> what? <gasps> what the heck was that? 
Not on the day of the festival. <laughs> Nefarious and insidious deeds are coming down from Mayor Domino's secret underground, um, pleasure palace. Oof. They just straight up murdered those people. And they released the liquors. I wonder what the origin is for... Damn, they went right for Vincent. This shit is heavily Matrix-inspired. Like the music, I'm thinking. He's even firing a Trinity gun. Um, The inspiration for, like, the Dog Beast... It shows up as a lot of villain lore. You're gathering the people? God damn it, Shinra. All right. Here we go again. Vincent steps up to the plate. Wow, I, it's it. Like I said, I have not played this. Uh, so I guess fifteen years now. Did not realize how freaking broody this game was. Like, I remember it was Vincent, but... What's going on? Blood type A. That's so Japanese. It's wonderful. Found you. Hmm? Cyclops lady? Lane? Is that you, Lane? Sorry. I gotta have some fun with it. Dead or alive. Alright, so... Jump, dodge... Or shoot. Alright, shoot his trigger finger. Alright, looks like I got my inverts correct. I didn't screw that up too much. Oh, this targeting is weird, though. Potion. Use items by accessing the menu function. Uh, also use left or right. Oh, fuck. It actually uses it, by the way. I thought it would, like, select it. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I'll make it up this ladder. Don't worry, no rush. I know I can double jump just as high, but... Handgun bullets. All right, press R2 at any time to reload the weapon. Okay. Not a problem. That's fine. Let me jump over here. Like I said, uh, skip the tutorial because they're just gonna... Give me a tutorial level anyways. Handgun bullets. Gil or Jill? I've always said Gil. I don't know if they've actually ever said it. I'm sure they've said it at some point. Final Fantasy VII Remake probably says it a bunch. You bastards. I could be wrong, but I think you can play this with a mouse as well. Or maybe there was a PC port. Alright, thank you. So does Gil. That's what I've always said, but I also say a lot of things weird, like, I used to pronounce Chocobo as Kokobo. I don't know why, I just decided that H doesn't exist in the beginning. Um, I don't know. Alright, so yeah, so Harji, Gil, I've always said that. Um, but yeah, Kokobo I used to say, and Sep Sephiroth. Prior to it actually being pronounced, I used to say Sephiroth, um, because I was 12 and didn't know any better. Uh, I didn't realize that the world exists outside of video games, and that uh, video games tend to just reference them a lot. And that Sephiroth was an actual thing. Now where am I supposed to meet Reeve? Chimera, right? Please tell me it's Chimera, because that's what I've always said. Is it Chimera? 
Is it Chimera? Okay, Chimera. Oof. See, and maybe it's things like that or why I said Kokobo. Um, and also my name is Chris, which is C-H-R-I-S, and you just ignore that H entirely. So I'll blame that. How about, how's that sound? That's not at all me making excuses for the fact that it's a chicken. Chimney. Chim chimmery, chim chimmery, chim chim chimmery. How am I supposed to protect them other than putting myself in the way? Man, this is... I'm not gonna lie, like... This is not ideal for an SD... Sorry, standard definition resolution back in the day, like... Also, not really built for controllers. It's it's not too bad, um, but it's not ideal. And safe state, Mako point. Um, step inside these glowing areas to absorb Mako energy. Use the process materia equipped weapons. Press uh, L1 to activate the materia. Okay, so not a safe spot. Hey Goya. So fire materia, equip the materia by using the customized function, locating within the menu, press L1 to aim to activate. So I'm guessing that's like secondary weaponry. Alright, so let me see what I have here. Config. Yeah, if you ever wonder why suddenly I'm just looking this way, it's because uh, down here is a furry guy. Yep, there he is. Um, and he likes to block half my screen, so. Alright. Alright, sight speed. Let me move that up. That's fine. Camera speed. I need to speed that up some. Something out. Oh, okay. So you can use a mouse. Huh. That would probably make this game a lot easier to control. Uh, let's see what else I have going on. So main menu. Let's see if there's any surprises. Crouch stand. Didn't realize that was a thing yet. Shoot. Reload. Zoom. Oh, that's annoying. Magic is L1. Uh, let me break. Okay, so I can melee with circle. Um, previous weapon doesn't have a button. I know there were various weapons in this. Reset cameras, L3. So next weapon's L2, okay. I think that makes sense to me. Don't have a mouse, don't have a keyboard. I do, but it's connected to the computer, not to, uh, the PS2. Alright, so let's see what else. So that's all of my menus. Status, what the heck's in here? Okay, so just my level. Accuracy rate, come on, really? Um, weapon 2, weapon 1, it's the same thing. All three, so I get three weapons. Let's see, design for neutralizing, close and medium. Alright, so I'm assuming I get like sniper rifles and stuff later then. Fire materia, normal barrel, discard. Alright, so I think. Some materia slot, fire materia. Well, that's fun. So you get to build your weapon up. I like that. I don't rem that That's, um, I did not remember that. Chimera. Chimera. Mmm, Chimeras. That sounds like something you'd order at a Mexican American joint. Alright, let's see what this. Ooh, that materia had some pop to it. Alright, so my health is at a premium, it seems. And it looks like. Um. This rotate speed I set it to is perfect. Which is nice. I, I'm i sorry, I love all games where you just smash crates. Like, if you can... You know, there's like that Twitter feed of, you know, can you pet the dog? There needs to be one, can you smash the crate? That way I just know what games I need to buy. Uh, that would simplify things a bunch. Alright, so... I don't remember if platforming is a significant thing in this or not. Alright, so I can't free people that are in here. So this is just a dead end then. 
temp save. Huh. Alright, map. Electromagnetic barricades are used for deep ground to hinder the progress of their enemies. I love that they're telling me what deep ground is, even though I haven't actually discovered that yet. Alright, car keys are carried by DG soldiers and are required to deactivate them. Oh, DG deep ground. I'm an idiot. I'm like, what's DG? Oh, you mother lover. Where the hell did you come from, lady? Oh yeah, deep ground. I'm sure with that. DG. I think I'm spoiled by uh, modern games because I keep on like expecting to have like a, a radar or something that shows me where enemies are. Forget that I have to actually look for things. Spoiled like that. Alright, let's see. Oh, those are people. Yeah. I don't think I saved those civilians. <laughs> oh shit, you're still alive. Get out of here, bro. What are you doing? Shoo. Flee. <sighs> Whatever. Oof. I am too gung-ho. Playing this like a first-person shooter. Ooh, limit break. Uh, activate his limit break and transform into the powerful Galian beast uh, using the limit breaker. Vincent will return to his normal form after a set period of time or when L and R ones are pressed together. Okay. Um, how do I limit break? No, no, no. Alright, so... That's how you deactivate a limit break. It doesn't say how to activate. Okay. Don't need to know how to activate. Activating's overrated. Ah. MP. Materia points. And like, I don't remember 2006 that well. Um, not that I'm hazy, but, like, I'm trying to remember, or maybe I'm hazy, um, what games were out in 2006 that this could have referenced, because 2006 is the year that Xbox 360 launched, or is that when Gears launched? Because if this was contemporary to Gears of War, oh my goodness. So the kid is clean. I don't remember what they're clean from. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna heal a bit. Oh, potion too. Okay. I'm really bad with UI too. I didn't realize at least how many potions I have. What? I shot that dog. Oh, okay. quarters. It's also really dark. Maybe that's just me. I don't know how it looks to everyone else. But it looks nice and uh, brooding. It's very this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, 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 be awesome if Jack Skellington popped out of this Mako fountain. Oh, it's 
It's like, is that a bomb? Why is there a timer? Timers are never good. Alright, come on, little girl. Oh, you bastard. I forgot you were in there. Alright, you got a free hit on me. stickler for coal or something and this is bugging me dun, dun, dun. hopefully everyone's having a good night i'm feeling pretty good for uh for it being a saturday night where half of michigan is flooding man i have so actually I'll, let me fix this and i will tell you a story all right let's set that because that was gonna bug me otherwise all right video games where characters automatically know how to operate every piece of machinery. Oh yeah, don't you know? Uh, you just kind of tap on it a lot with good intentions and then something works. Isn't that how things work? Uh, so, today I had to uh, take a family, or sorry, pick up a family member from a hospital which is supposedly 25 minutes away from me. Which is not a big deal, right? I'm like, hey, let me pop by, I'll pick you up, no big deal. I'll be here, you know, meet me at the, the checkout or whatever it's called. Um, so I'm getting ready to pick them up. And by getting ready, I mean, I'm on route. Phone says, hey, you're four minutes from the hospital. I'm like, cool. I'm down with that. Almost there. Don't worry about it. I'll see you in a minute. Um, only to find out that every access point to the hospital from where I was coming north completely blocked out by um, flooding. And... What I mean by that is, like, there's a lot of, in that area, overpasses for a railroad, and the, the road actually goes underneath for a viaduct, or whatever I believe is the term. Um, but usually it's, like, clearances, 14 feet, 2 inches. That way, trucks know where to go. Um, yeah, they were flooded all the way up to there. Uh, there was one point where there was a, a tractor trailer that was submerged up to, you could see, maybe the top foot and a half, 2 feet of the trailer. Uh, so, yeah, that was a, a solid 12 feet of water that was just gathered there. And that was at every point I, I was able to cross and, like, find on a map to go. Um, not to mention then, I have stalled cars all over the place just because people thought they could brave the water. So the side of the freeway is just littered with abandoned vehicles from, uh, yesterday was the storm. So a lot of the water receded or, you know, dissipated at this point. But, uh, yeah, there's just cars all over the road just randomly. There's semi-trucks running through neighborhoods, more or less, because freeways are closed down, um, flooding all over the place. And it's like, cool. So, it's good to know that a little bit of inconvenience and all infrastructure shuts down in this area. So, that was my day. So, I'm very excited to run around shooting people as a pseudo-vampire uh, J-pop star. Toss of the Cape. That is a Vincent classic. I love that how well that translated to from um, the Final Fantasy VII proper. Like there was a lot of that of him just tossing his cape and turning. Uh, so when that showed up in here, that made my day. And it's in uh, Advent Children as well. Equip this sniper scope by accessing the customized functions located within the main menu. When equipped, press R3 to zoom. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to change some controls because that sounds obnoxious. Alright, so let's see what we got. So yeah, anyways, hopefully everyone had a better Saturday than me. I know that the world seems to be going a little crazy. I see the northwest is getting like 117 degrees tomorrow. Um, and then like I said, I'm flooding. Apparently Michigan's going to get rain for the next seven days. It's a good time. But hopefully everyone is staying sane still. So I'm going to switch R2 with R3. So now I'll reload with R3, which still seems weird, but I'll run with it. Um, actually, let me... Next weapon. I don't think I'm going to be changing that that frequently, where I need it set to its shoulder. So now I'll have L2 to reload. Alright, I'm going all in, so I'm changing all this. Alright, 
So I'm going traditional here. So let's do zoom as L2. We'll do shoot as R2. So now it's playing like a, a shooter that I'm used to. So zoom, shoot, magic will be L1, reload will be R1. Sorry, I'm trying to think if that makes sense. Now I'm going to change the magic. So magic will be R1, so I have my secondary fire, primary fire, zoom, reload. Okay, that sounds good. Kids, always take time to go into your options. Be very familiar with what you got available to you, as well as take the time to customize it to your liking. Make this game yours. Do not play it as is, because it never works. Oh, that's right. Uh, canonical. I, I forgot that. You slept uh, miserably last night. So, thank you for um, still being with us and finally getting over the second uh, second dose there. Game dev stuff. Yeah, I've been super jealous, dude. Like, I'm looking at you doing all your work, uh, Kalisti, with, um, with the, the maps and the lighting and everything that you've got going on with your project. I don't know if you've got a name for it yet, but, like, it just looks all beautiful, man. You're doing a hell of a job. I love watching the updates, so. Um, in fact, you're, like, you're making me super jealous. I'm like, man, I really should pop open RPG Maker again and kind of get familiar with some of the stuff. Um, you clearly have way more talent than me, so keep running with that. That's amazing for me to look at. I will not be able to reach that level. However, so fun for me to mess around with. Um, like you actually doing your own, like you being able to do pixel art is already a step ahead of what I'm capable of. Um, my my mind, I'm just much more technically sound. So like I think logically, and I love like scripting stuff and writing. Um, but what I can't help you. There's a fire there. Except I guess I can zoom. Oop, sorry that dude died. I forgot to um customize and equip that sniper scope. Damn it. Whoa, that is hella zoom. I did not know I was gonna be able to zoom that much. Yeah, I am I am so sorry. I am not saving these people. And I'm out of ammo? Ooh, that's not good. Wow, I did not realize I ran through that much ammo. That's a problem. I thought I had like 200. Alright, let me zoom out. But yeah, so I do uh, enjoy seeing your project, so thank you for sharing all that stuff. It's very cool. It's, it's also inspiring. Aw, oh, Canonical, why did you tell me that? I didn't want to play Resident Evil. Alright, map. Sorry, let's go head back. Oh yeah, I got the car key now. Alright, see, no, I'm just obsessed with par uh, parallax. Mapping has been a godsend, to be honest. Being able to custom environments, I'm not limited by the grid system, the limitations. That's cool. Yeah, no, but you being able to work with that stuff, man, that is, uh, that is very, like I said, it's, um, inspiring. It makes me really want to dig back in. Ooh. See, now I made the mistake of, uh, since I customized... <sighs> I forgot I should just be meeting people. Um, I made the mistake of playing without changing, uh, the controls at first, so now I'm half doing the old way, half doing the new way. Alright, I'm just gonna punch you guys. Give me some ammo. So every time I shoot, it does three rounds, doesn't it? That's why my ammo disappeared as quickly as it did. Long barrel. 
Increases weapons power as well as his range. Now you're talking my language. See, you can do the plugins and the scripting. You can really customize the engine. Yeah, I need to get back to that. You're right. Ah, uh, you're right. As per usual. Alright, so. So I have two high potions. I can only carry two? Thank you. Huh, that's. That seems kind of limiting. I love that they gave me the option to close that door. <laughs> this looks like a boss arena. Do I get to kill a helicopter? Oh, this is exciting. And wait, if Shinra has helicopters, why do they need Sid? And the high wind. That makes no sense. That sounds like a plot hole. Hmm. It's almost like they never intended for this game to exist. And Final Fantasy VII is meant to be a closed off experience. Alright, so I don't think shooting that is going to do me any good. And I think that might be a waste of money. Or not money, um, ammunition. Money if you're playing. What, were the, what was the name? Uh, Last Light? Metro 2033. Fantastic game. Thank goodness for auto. Auto lock is a beautiful thing for console games. Come on, you mother lover. Ooh, that's not good. Come on, just let me shoot them while they're floating up there like little marionettes. That would have been better. I haven't really listened to the soundtrack a whole lot. Ugh, this... I don't remember if enemies can shoot barrels. I hope they can't. Nothing frustrates me more in games than not paying attention and then, like, a barrel gets shot and then suddenly that's your demise. Alright, so you're down, you're down. Let me shoot that barrel. Boom. Let's blow these up. Ooh, I like potions. I really like potions. Thank you, Shinra. Get back here. Show me that little reticule. Damn yous! Where's this guy? I'm actually, um, really impressed with the sound. Uh, they actually did a fantastic job with, like, localizing the sound. Because I'm wearing earbuds right now, and things are fading from left to right really well. Oh, my material missed. There we go. Dragonfly down. <laughs> nice one, Canonical. Uh, big crate, single potion. When did they start sh shipping? Uh, sorry, working with Amazon. God, you are not wrong. Chewy is not much better. Um, I get shipments from Chewy for my cats. They uh, take pills. Um, and it's literally just like a pill bottle. And they'll put it in a shoebox. It's crazy how much... How much waste there is 
Because you think about that, it takes up tr truck space. Vincent Valentine. We found you. Those eyes ain't normal. Is this the one? Yes. Oh, Vincent is being sought. And see, uh, part of the reason why I wanted to replay this, it wasn't just completely random, um, was I know that this uh, Deep Ground ties into uh, the Yuffie DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, it looks like, and I don't know because I haven't done anything more than the trailers and maybe an hour of it, um, so they haven't revealed any of it yet, but it looks to be like Deep Ground is the actual... Or wise from deep ground is kind of like the villain or the main plot point um, focus for her individual mission. So, kind of excited to get to that. So I was like, you know what? Let me go back and revisit this to see. By cutting the size of the barrel in half, its weight has been reduced to a fraction. Oh, does it up the power? No, it actually reduces the power. I don't mind the weight and speed, and maybe I, I cheated just by... Damn, that is a gun. Holy shit, Western man. Um. Wow, sorry, that just threw me off. Like, that's literally the size of my leg. Apparently it pays to have half, you know, whatever blood he has going on. This Frankenstein slash Galien beast slash everything monster inside of him chaos monster i think this is where i meet reeve aka uh Kate Ketchy. and then he falls apart if i remember correctly because it's not really him nope i was wrong i get to meet big blue hey isn't that the character model from like final fantasy 14 the, the big dudes. Tell us where it is. Proto materia. Hey, vice. Vice, not vice. I did not mean to use my materia there, but man, that really worked out to my favor. I love that I'm in this tiny little calm, like literally K-A-L-M town, and this tiny little building and I blow out a wall and there's a supercomputer on the other side. That is some Kingdom Hearts ass shit, and I love it. Nope. Oh. Little girl fell down. Shelk, I think is her name. Luck is on your side. It's been a long time. Yeah, he looks like the dudes from Final Fantasy XIV. I forget what the race is, but... I'm sorry. I am Either my... Azul. Azul, thank you. We'll meet again. Okay. See you, bro. Valentine. Reeve, there we are. See, I wasn't far are you off. All right? mm -hmm. Oh, Reeve. Nice to see you again. Not a very interesting outfit, though. <laughs> it took me a while to decide which costume I'd put on for today. But enough of the small talk. Who are those soldiers that just left? I don't know. The large one called himself Azul. Yes. Of the Sviet? Yes. Then that could only mean... Commissioner! Oh no, what's going on? We'll discuss this later. Oh, will we? Tomorrow troops have arrived and commenced rescue operations. We could use your help, Vincent. Reeve. I don't know what 
what you're up to. But I want absolutely no part of it. But you fought alongside us three years ago. We need your help once more. And fake out. Breathe. And he falls apart. <laughs> that was a close one. Ah, Nibbert was good at fighting. Luckily, I came out wearing the wreath. You're really not a bad bloke, are you, Vincent? Ah, you pretend not to care, but you always come through in the end. <laughs> All right. What do you want me to do? <laughs> the face on Reeve. Let's run those lads out of town. I'll leave the method up to you. When you've tidied things up, meet me at the square in front of the East Church. <laughs> oh, I'm glad they got a sense of humor with it. There's a... God. Bless it. Canonical, you're killing me. Here I thought it was going to be all fun and games until I shoot out someone's eye. And then now you're telling me there's stealth sections? I don't remember that. I remember, I don't know, level 2 or 3 riding on a bus with like a, a mounted cannon. <laughs> I remember doing that. I think I think Cloud's with us at that point. Maybe on a motorcycle. We're shooting those little shadow doggy things. Maybe. Um, oh, I don't remember stealth missions. I don't think anyone in the history of ever has been like, hey, you know what a game could use? More stealth. Like, even Hitman games aren't about stealth. Jesus, Louises. Oh. Okay, up on the D-pad, by the way, pops open the map, in case you didn't know. Like me. Alright, so come on. Okay, so left changes. Oh, limit breaker is an item. Okay. So left changes what item I'm on, right uses it. Good to know. So I can use the lesser potions. You know, I might be speaking a little early, but I actually... I think I'm really excited to play through this right now. Uh, originally I was like, yeah, you know, whatever, I'll go through. It should be a quick onesie twosie, get some story points. Then I can jump into uh, the Final Fantasy VII Intergrade, Intermission, whatever it is, where you play as Yuffie. Like, play through her episode. Um, but I'm actually kind of digging this. I say that, I know, it is quite early and I have not played a stealth section yet, but still. High potion, limit breaker potion, take one of those. Yeah, I mean, I... I, I, I could definitely feel that. I know this game did catch a lot of shit, and then, like I said, I'll have to check the timetable later, but I, I'm pretty sure this is contemporary, contemporous, uh, whatever the correct word is, with uh, Gears of War, so I can understand this, this being a shooter game probably did not appeal to a lot of role-playing game fans, which at the time, 2006 was Final Fantasy XII, and I remember that getting a ton of shit for not being a straight action, or sorry, being a straight turn-based game. Um, and you know, because Final Fantasy needs to be turn-based. Uh, so back in 2006, when Final Fantasy XII came out, same year as this, um, yeah, there was a lot of hell. So I can imagine this, this just uh, really turned off Final Fantasy fans. And then, oh sorry, the other the other half of that is, um, so it turns off the, the existing fans, the ones that they should be jumping into this immediately. Fuck, I'm out of ammo. But the other half of it then is, are you, oh, WRO, yes. Fuck, I shot my guy. 
Uh, the other half of it is that people that just want straight shooters um, are already served when it comes to Call of Duty, Gears of War, whatever that case may be at the time. So it really was a matter of like what was their audience that they were going for with this. But now, I think there's been enough time where people, uh, you go back to it as, you know, divorced from the, 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 the push of Final Fantasy or the expectation of it needs to be a, a, a perfect shooter and just look at it from a, okay, what's this game doing? Um, I also think that a lot of games in general now have gotten away from genre, so expectations of games sticking to a very fitted genre is kind of dying off, which is nice. But these are just my ramblings. They're based on nothing other than I like to talk. Um, oh, my health is pretty good. Just wish I had more ammo. All right. But yeah, it's it is it's it's seeming much more competent than I remember it. Now that like I mess with the controls, got a feel for it, and you know I have my rhythm at this point. And I'm a sucker for Vincent and Yuffie. Mr. Vincent Valentine. I'm an officer with the World with Genesis organization. Speak with me if you require any assistance. Supplies? Sir. Are you gonna sell me? <laughs> this is like Resident Evil 4, where I don't understand why during a time of like great need they're like, okay, well let's let's trade money for goods. I mean, I don't know what else I need money for, so, sure. Let me max these out. Alright, so we got all that. My gill is at... 2700. Don't want to sell anything. Hopefully this game doesn't have items you sell for... Okay, good. Alright, so information on the WRL. WRO was originally established three years ago after meeting a fall. Genova war hero Reeve Chuesti at its helm. Our organization is dedicated to aiding the healing process of the planet, as well as protecting it from any who attempt further harm. Cool. Sir. Proceed to the East Church just past these buildings. Hurry, we will assist you in securing the area. All right, let's over here. Over here. Hurry! Wait for me. Come on. Misdirection. Sure. Over there. Okay. Final boss waits up to Sith world. Bought some supplies if you need them. So gonna have to charge you though, and <laughs> not to be awkward. I do have a business to run. Um. My kids that you just saved, I need to keep them fed somehow. Ooh, machine gun. It means machine gun bullets. Alright, I'm liking where this is going. So now I have an actual griffin. Ah, I'm liking it. Alright, so let's do the short barrel on that with sniper scope on a machine gun. Are you drinking game? We'll leave that there. Machine gun bullets. Alright, so I now have a Tommy gun. Who do I get to use this on? Sounds like to the right. Oh, this thing is uh, not the gun I was hoping for. I have no problem using this to mow down clumps of enemies, though. But currently, I prefer the revolver. Thank you, Mr. Valentine. Appreciate the backup. I'm glad you're on our side, sir. <laughs> what are you, a demon or something? It's also kind of nice. Like, if you look at this character model compared to. Um, some of what they've done outside of this for the Final Fantasy VII game, so whether it be 
uh, the new one, the remake, or what have you, like, it, the character model actually looks like the Final Fantasy VII one, like, they didn't alter it that much, and even though, like, those shoes are super freaking goofy, um, they stuck with it, which I kind of like, I dig that. Shoe to form, if you will. Smashy, smashy. Car key. Use card key. And apparently the card key disintegrates. Cannot reuse, which is a little weird. Here for backup. Snipers. Um, I don't think I have a sniper gun build. Alright, so they're not really separate weapons as much as they're different builds, and then you can just... Oh no, I guess they do share... <sighs> resources. So long barrel and sniper scope on weapons. No, okay, so it doesn't unequip it from the other ones. Yeah, so really it's just different bill or loadouts. So I have three separate loadouts. I don't have to unequip anything to make them work. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's well done. So like right now, damn it. So machine gun. So I made two long barrels. If I remove that, is there any benefit? No, it looks like I should range changes. Weight changes, speed, power goes down. I guess I could look at the big blue and red arrows. Ah, uh, oh yeah, 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 Chris. All right, so weapon one I'll keep normal. Weapon two is close range machine gun. Three is going to be my sniper. All right, good. So when I change that with R three. So where are these roof snipers? Man, I can't imagine how easy this game would be with a mouse and keyboard, though. Oh, I guess he's just too far? And I'm out of ammo. Damn it, here I thought I was being clever. Doing things the right way, uh, and then no. Doing myself a disservice. Do some flippy jumpies. Still think this game is a little dark. And I don't mean the mood. Understand that this is in the era of vampires being dark and broody, not necessarily sparkly in the sun, but uh, visually dark. Like, you think these fires would light up the town. It's also interesting that they set it in Calm. Or at least the starting section. I guess it's right next to Medgar, so it makes sense, but... Oh, I killed that thing! Come on! Read... Redemption, that is the name of the Gak song at the end. Redemption! I remember that one. Let's do a little heal. Smashy, smashy. Alright, where'd this thing go? You wanna go? You want a piece of me? How about my Tommy gun? You know what this game really needs is lock-on. I think that would, that would have subsided a lot of complaints about targeting and stuff. Ooh, destroying my health you are. And out of that type of ammo. 
Um, ooh, you are a bastard. I knew that was going to happen, though. if I run I am oh they'll probably drop enemies no mind I'll shut up drop another potion on myself so I don't remember if this is considered level two or is this still a continuation of one um so I thought I remember it being ten ten levels if you will uh just because I like to keep track of Eventually, I like to keep track of how far I am into a game. Like, oh, I'm 10% through after this level, or 20%. So I wonder if the Reeve cutscene counted as, like, end of level one. You are victorious, and you are beating up boxes that cannot be destroyed. Well done, Punk Rock Bob. All right. Got all the stuff. I think he's destroyed my health. Let's see if I can do just a little bit more. Let me change guns. Machine gun intends to make me happy. Goya. Cat on deck. Excellent timing, buddy. Last quarter of the health. And I'm out of ammo. Say so last quarter of the health on the boss is an excellent time to check up on us, Goya. Make sure we're all doing well in this stream. Oh, we are not doing well, Goya. Not doing well at all. I pick this up? I say, I, I know I don't have too many potions because I don't have any. Alright, potion. I see you, Goya. Everyone sees you. You're right here. Alright, so I don't... I don't even know how a Phoenix Down works in this game. Sorry, I'm getting low on ammo, so I just wanted to break all the available crates and get that over with. How do I jump kick a box? Man, Vincent's really been, uh, falling apart in his old age here. Can't even beat up a box and break it on one hit. I mean, he's pushing, what, like, 48 or something like that? Alright, I need to unload a Materion hit. Materia hit. Materia hit. Oof, that did some good damage. Let's keep dumping some mana. Yes! Enemy down. Yeah, Goya is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm sure you've seen me post plenty, plenty of pictures on Twitter of him because I, I don't know, I adore my cats. They're they're good old souls. They're both 14 now. What? Well, how did I jump up there now? I couldn't even double jump onto some crates. Control that real good now. This is the thing I remember the boss.
said, I thought I remember running a turret on it. I guess we'll find out in a moment now, won't we? He should be like sipping on an iced tea or something. That's brisk, baby. What's with the beret? Really? Good work, Vincent. Oh, why, thank the you. The enemy is retreating. It seems they have finally begun their withdrawal from the colony. Good. However, we still require your assistance. Reports our edge is under attack. Edge? From Final Fantasy IV? The Prince of Albin? Sorry, I'm a nerd. I assume that is definitely not the Edge they're referring to. Um, okay, so this is after Advent Children, because Edge, I believe, is the town that takes place in. And so, okay, so that was level one, then. Oof, items used, I got a D. Took way too much damage, got a D. So 68% accuracy got me an A. That's nuts. Critical hits, A. Kill chains, I don't even understand how I was doing that. Magic cast, Mako collected, so I must have missed one or two. Uh, I, I do have to be honest, one thing I don't really like about Japanese games is when they do this ranking thing during stories. Like, I know Devil May Cry, that was another one that, you know, you get ranked depending on the level you play and the, you know, combos and scores and all that jazz, but... It always, and even, uh, I think Bayonetta does that too, but that always discourages me from playing a game. Like, when you're playing through a story and you're trying to survive, it's like, that kicked my butt. Uh, thankfully I got through it, and then it's like, ranking, D. Like, cool. So, members assisted 7 out of 12. Hey, that's my birthday. Uh, July 12th. So that is the correct number of WRO people to save, in my opinion. Um, save the abducted girl, locate the car key, apparently I missed one. Oh, I know where that was. There was a fork right and left and I went right only. Okay. And I didn't save all the people. Calculating. That's funny. Do I want gold or do I want levels? Uh, give me levels? Thank you. I don't even know what to do with Gil. Like, well, I understand how to use Gil. Uh, let me rephrase. I haven't actually run into it where it's like, I need that. Because, like, right now, the only item I can buy that I don't already have... have Phoenix Downs or... Okay, so what are those? Instant restores all HP when users KO'd. So I guess if I just have it, I'm good. So it's like a free life. Um, so the Cerberus Relief is the only thing that I don't already have. Like, I already have the Sniper, the Short, the Long, the Normal, the Griffin, the Cerberus. I guess I could max out my bullets? That seems like a weird use of money, but okay. But, uh, Canonical, if you're saying that am ammunition becomes an issue, then I guess I am just going to use this opportunity to max that out then. I guess they give you the option to buy these back in case you sold one. Hey, is that Coconut? You don't get to see her often on stream, so this is a rare event. Um, usually, definitely for people coming over, she uh, she is a hider, so... I'm surprised that she's coming out, but that's cool. Granted, she doesn't know that you're all hanging out with me, so she thinks it's safe. Little does she know that I'm hanging out with people. Um, alright, let's see. So, let me go ahead and buy all the bullets. How high do you let me go? So, 419. Do I have enough money for that? I am not good with math. Yes, I do, but that was all my money. Probably wasn't a good use of my gill, folks. I appreciate you looking out for me and telling me not to do that, but, um... You did it. Uh, so, I guess that is my money, so that's all the spending I'm gonna do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. 
Money is good for stuff. Good thing I bought all that ammunition that's going to drop on that level. Uh, and they don't even let you sell your ammo. That is awesome. And you can't sell any of the other stuff. Well, that's cute. All right, so I can get 700 if I sell Phoenix down, and that is not enough to build or buy anything. Huh, all right, well, egg on my face. Let's not do that again. Hey, toss me another clip. Hey, that's Johnny Young Bosch. And that's Johnny Young gone. Uh, Johnny Young Bosch, the voice of Vash the Stampede, slash, um, Ichigo and Bleach, slash, a lot of other things, because he's awesome. Also the voice of Tetsuo in, uh, you know, redone Akira. Where did everyone go? Crimson and Clover. Rosa de Crimson. Sweetheads. Oh shit. Definitely don't remember her. <laughs> Which means she probably doesn't make it very really far. Who were those men? Deep ground soldiers. Deep ground? Yes. The shadow of the Shinra Company, constructed by the former president, and completely hidden from the rest of the world. Constructed? His goal was to create an army of superhuman warriors, not once letting morality interfere. Like soldier. The man you met earlier, Azul, is also a member of Deep Ground, but he belongs to an elite unit known as the Sviets. The whole organization was kept a secret. That's why there's so little information on them. However, it's nothing like I expected. Not even a person in your position was informed. No. Other than the president himself, the only people who knew of Deep Ground's existence were most likely Heidegger, Scarlet, and the head of biochemical research, Ojo. After the president's death, the transfer of power to his son was carried out so quickly I doubt Rufus was ever briefed on the project. As for me, I was told the information was on a need-to-know basis, and as an official in charge of urban development, I guess I wasn't on their list. All the intel we currently have on Deep Ground was only discovered recently when we came across some of Scarlet's old spies. <sighs> Vincent, about Scarlet. have you heard of the mass disappearance that occurred recently in Juno? Hmm. I remember the report saying that 20 or 30 people suddenly vanished. That's mm -hmm. what the report would like you to believe. <laughs> It was determined internally that if the truth was leaked, they wouldn't be able to contain the inevitable panic. Don't turn off the PS2. The actual player. number of people that went missing that day was 1,200. That's a lot of people. 1,200 people simply vanished without a single trace. It's a lot of pesos. The WRO conducted a private investigation, but we came up empty-handed. Except for the rumors. Since the Junon disappearances, people in Edge have been on edge. They say that <laughs> night after night, you can hear screams coming from the direction of Midgar. Could it be the wind? Let me ask you, does the wind sound like a thousand wailing souls? If you're emo like me, it does. 
I didn't read being all poetic. Listen, can you hear them? The cries. The cries of the planet? Excellent the song. transmission is being broadcast on all wavelengths. Rogue transmission. At last. Spies? Yep. Terminated, not eliminated. They shall be slashed, strangled, and slaughtered. Beaten, stabbed, and crushed. Garrison Jesus. And impaled, shot, and executed without mercy. The time has come to cleanse this world. <laughs> So I'm going to be really interested to see that signal have how Yuffie is aware of this. And oh, never mind. I guess the never mind. Answer my own question. That was like 13 shells. No wonder I'm out of ammo. Yeah, don't waste all your ammo you just purchased foolishly. Rat -a tat tat. Eradicate the guardhounds. Who? Oh, okay. Hold on. This is gonna be bad. Um. So apparently, uh, movement at this point being too fast is a bad thing. Let me drop that down. I apologize. I know menus are super exciting. Um, okay. But I was going to go over way too much too frequently. So, do I have limited ammo? Is it overheat? You know, I do... I do miss games just throwing you into shit and say, figure it out. Like, now I feel like if this was in a game, they, you know, there'd have to be an explanation. They would pause and say, pay attention to your ammo. Or maybe even do a, a voiceover that's explaining to you. Like, Reeve at this point would be telling you, be careful, don't overheat the gun. Be sure to aim to the, your left. Look, to your right. What are you doing, Vincent? Um, they're just letting me play, which is cool. I actually don't even know if I'm taking damage, if I'm killing things. Uh, is there a limit? I don't know. But at the same time, I really shouldn't because I'm a terrified being. Oh, don't take my gun away! So they designed that mechanic for all of two minutes. Oh, great, now I'm back to using my, my, my own ammunition. Oh. It's kind of bullshit. Like, how am I supposed to be attacking or damaging them? Before they hit me. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Ears on stream. Put a fool on his back. Just needs to have a bunch of really hard to find secret targets. Probably. Right. I'll be fine, but that's more than I can say for the engine. Vincent, if possible, 
I want you to continue on to Edge. Okay. That transmission we just saw troubles me. I was really hoping that we're going to say we're on the edge of Edge. I'll need to where everyone's on Edge. A WRO squad has already been dispatched to Edge. Join them and help liberate the city. Yeah, I don't remember secret targets, but... Ooh, I'm getting old and I don't remember everything so clearly now. I just know my bus is busted. I'm on the edge of edge because it's a silly name. What is that? Can I jump over this? I'm probably going to die. Nope, you're not even going to let me do it. Just let me pick that up. Oh, secret ending, huh? Uh, well, I shot that. I don't know if it gave me it or what just happened. Something happened, though. Let's reload. Let me switch my guns. Alright. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's... You're talking... They're, like, literal targets. Just, like, a tiny little thing to shoot. Well, good to know. We're all remembering together. One big collective. Shared experience and knowledge, just like Materia. That's not Red 13. That's not Sato either. Ah! <laughs> Comes in how? Saving my ammunition. I'm wasting it on you, little muggles. That's not the right term. Yes, I don't have a card key. Because deep ground isn't out here, I thought. I almost said something really dumb, by the way. Like, I'm sitting here like, wow, I really hope they incorporate this into um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. It'd be really cool. Oh, Crimson Hound is that specific one. I was like, wow, I'd really like a modernized version of this game. Like, it'd be cool to see some of this stuff played out. After I was just addressing the fact that Yuffie's story in Intermission revolves around the villains from this game. So, clearly, I... Um, need to get on the same page with myself. Die, you fake Red 13. Yeah, I think next stream what I'll do is I'll run this game, um, I have, since I have the physical disc version of it, the same thing that lets me load off the hard drive also acts as a game shark. God, I feel like such an idiot for spending that money on bullets right now. Um, but uh, it lets me run it like a game shark. So if I do that, then I can probably find a way to get unlimited ammo or something like that. That way it's one less thing to worry about. Because as, as much as I like getting the, the real experience, giant air quotes there, um, I, I also just want to have a good time and play through the story, so I would not be opposed to uh, activating a few game shark cheats. Yeah, good point, Canonical. Um, and all of a sudden, I don't want to talk too much into the remake and some of the stuff that they did in there, but um, you know, you're right, they did. They really did reference that a bit with, uh, towards the end of that, that game. Specifically, once again, involving Red 13. <laughs> Life's too short, to be honest. Wow, that is, that is a statement, sir. I feel like I should get that tattooed on me. That would go over really well with anyone I meet in the future. Uh, yeah, I would like a job with you. What's that tattoo say? Uh, don't worry about it. Life's too short to be honest. Yes, I did in fact go to Yale. Yes, I do in fact have 15 years of programming in our experience. 
<laughs> Those two things don't make any sense why they'd be together, but you know, I went to law school and I'm programming. I plan on making the na uh, next Ace Attorney games. I figured it'd be good research. You hit me so hard. Okay, bad idea. I was gonna try and get to that uh, the Makos fountain or whatever that is, but they uh, they do not like me crossing that line. That'd be awesome if someone working on Ace Attorney decided like, you know what? I want some proper knowledge. I'm gonna go to Yale just so I can build a better game. Because you know this. Oh, I'm fucked so hard. Pegasus Riders. God, I really do need to replay the Final Fantasy remake. It bugs me that you mentioned that. Of um, oh, I was so close to the make of recharge you thingy. Wow, that was the whole level, huh? That is not at all balanced compared to the first level. Chapter ranking B. See, that sucks because that Mako collected. I was about to run on top of that one and it timed out. Because that totally would have changed my ranking from a B to an S. Goya? Hi. I don't know. He just feels like being yelly. <laughs> Mm, calculating points. See, this didn't make any mention of that hidden target, though. Now, see, now, now I understand why the screen exists. Because Gil is very useful for upgrading things. My gun, for example. Or, I can shoot this and this ups all my stats across all my guns. So, eh. Imagine at some point that there's going to be a good balance, a trade-off, if you will. I can't afford to modify anything. Um, I can if I sell my Phoenix down, which I'm going to do that. Probably a bad idea. Probably could sell my... Oh, you can equip... or have three limit breakers, so I won't sell that. Modify. So, I can up some stats. I just really wish. Don't like the way that they explain it. Additional firepower has been added to the frame. There's something else I can sell to make up 300. Service Relief or Thunder Materia. Nope. Slightly increases defense. I could sell that, but I think I paid a thousand for it, so I'd be losing three hundred. I mean, I'm not even equipping that, so fuck, whatever. Uh, life is about making bad decisions and accepting them, so we're just gonna do that and move on. So let's upgrade this to Servers 2. Ooh, that is going to give me a huge chunk of power, so I am all all in on that. We will exit the shop and we will continue on, friends. In the rain, because of course. You know, I don't remember it raining once in Final Fantasy VII. Suddenly it's all moody in the game. Silent Edge. Saving. <laughs> ah, Crimson. <laughs> Sorry, Russell. was last time? Was last time with Yuffie? Or was she Scarlet? I don't remember. 
Think, Chris, think. I'm just saying, I've got a reg... Oh, Tifa? No. Shira? Your WRO. Who's asking? Shalua. Vincent Valentine. Reeves sent me. She's got no arm. My apologies. Shalua Rui of the WRO. The commissioner has told me much about you. What happened here? That's what I'd like to know. I'm here on other business, but something's not right. It's too quiet. I've seen no trace of Deep Brown or the squads that were sent in to fight them. Also, where are the 500 people who are supposed to still be living here? Well, this is getting us nowhere. Like I said, I have business to attend to. I'll see you around. Hmm. Business. The commissioner keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. My time is searching. Oh, so you do have an option for what? For my reason to live. Glorious purpose. Maybe you should get a cat lady. They're pretty good reasons. Alright. You know, since doing these streams, I will say I did not realize that PS2 games held up as well as they have been so far. Um, because prior to this, I thought, hey, you know, I'll throw on some PS2 games and it'll be a hoot. It'll entertain me for a little bit, like talking about how how uh, aged they are and yada yada. But like, no, these are also really good games that I've been playing. Um, very easy to get lost in. Um, and I'm sure this is not, you know, uh, epiphany for a lot of people since, uh, most people aren't idiots and don't just decide that all old games are stupid, like me. But, you know, it's still, it's nice to get in here and actually enjoy these again. Um, which previously I... I don't know, like, I haven't played this in 15 years. I haven't played any PS2 games since... I don't know, man, like, 20... I think 2008? 9, maybe? It's probably the last time... If even that, like... The last PS2 game proper I remember playing... Would have been... Final Fantasy twelve and Konami... Or, Okami. Those were both in 2006. So, I mean, that could be the last, like, proper PS2 game that I've played, but who knows? Not me, and if I don't know, who does? But, um, know, I'm actually falling in love with them all over again. And I've mentioned on a previous stream, this, this controller helps a ton, too, because this thing is incredibly comfortable. Um, and I, I don't realize how big freaking... Xbox One Series X Super X X X is uh, how big those controllers are, or even uh, the DualShock, f uh, not DualShock, DualSense controllers are significantly larger, um, and you know you're holding those at all time. But like, I kind of just forget that I have this thing in my hand. Soldier. In red. I'm in red. Squad. Wipe out. Where house? <laughs> Sorry. Edge. Every time they say edge and edge, they it just. We're gathering. Civilian. I don't know. I mean, I guess in Japanese that edge the city 
is a different word than edge that they would say in Japanese. I'd imagine so. If they named it in English and they didn't actually translate the town name. Like, I don't know if in Japan Rocket Town is actually called Rocket Town. Or if it's like, you know, the equivalent, the Japanese equivalent of whatever Rocket is in town. Um, because I just find it funny that their edge is on the edge and I'm at the edge of edge. And it's like, how do they name this and not think about like, maybe not. Instead of edge, let's call it, I don't know, uh, Superville. Let's go with that. Or Gloomhaven. How about that? Stop attacking each other or whatever the heck you were doing. Evil little dogs. Goya's decided to go to sleep uh, finally in front of me, so I think the cats have been tamed for the remainder of the stream. How do I... How can I, a demon of the night that can punch a helicopter to death, get to the other side of this fence for that thing that I want? Hmm, I don't know. I guess I'll have to abandon it. Could be the thing that saves the day. It gives me enough strength to power on. But I'll never know. Alright. What's going on with this map? Sorry, Goya, I wasn't... I was not thinking I should not make noises either. Alright, um... Let's see, what do we have here? Just keep going. Let's get off of rations. Let's get to potions. So I tend to have a little bit more of those. Sorry, I'm just curious. There's nothing in here for brightness, is there? Ooh, gamma. Don't mind if I do. Ah, that's better. Much better. Much, much better. I can actually see some... Some of the events occurring on screen now. Probably actually adjust my monitor now that I think of it. Um, haven't actually messed around with it when it comes to streaming to make sure that it's at a comfortable level, if you will, for everything that I'm using it for. Um, so it's probably a little bit more washed out than it should be. So I've got the card key now. Didn't realize I can actually run around with um, the map open. That's cool. Well played, Clerks. So I picked up two new games today, which I'm excited to try out later, that are not Dirge of Cerberus. Um, I picked up the Baldur's Gate... No, sorry. Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance on PS5, which I know has been getting so-so reviews, but I tend to enjoy those games more than the critics do. So I'm excited to try that out. Ah, uh, good old Loveless. Uh, which is an album by my bloody Valentine. Which I am Vincent Valentine. But, um, so I picked up Hydra Frame. What is the rifle type allows for improved accuracy while firing a distance? Oh, so now I got the sniper frame. Okay, good. Let me swap that out. Um, so the other game I got, aside from the Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance, which I'm excited to try that out at some point. Um, not necessarily on stream, but playing that later. Alright, so now I've got the proper sniper rifle. Um, let me switch guns. Alright. Uh, and I know, like I said, mediocre reviews, but it's fun to bang around and dungeon crawl with friends. So I'd be gobsmacked if it was a not was not a worthwhile purchase, especially for 40 bucks. Um, I am already expecting it to be kind of a budget experience, so I have tapered expectations. Um, but I also picked up, uh, what is it called? Chivalry 2, which is like a hack and slash medieval game with like, I don't know, just, they, 
I think it's like 64, like 32v32 online multiplayer or something like that. Um, friend out in LA said uh, it's fantastic so far, and he's been playing it, so I figure it's a good thing to kind of goof off with multiplayer-wise, because I can't remember the last time I played um, some sort of online competitive game, because normally me and competitive don't do well, but if I'm playing with friends... Uh, I got no problem with kind of just goofing off, and if I die a lot, I'm sorry that you're carrying me. I'm sure your shoulders are getting a little sore, but, you know, you wanted me to play, let's do this. So I got that Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance and Chivalry 2 today. Oh no. That's Sniper Wolf. Shit, sorry, wrong game. Sex you up. He's checking out my ass. I see you. Probably because you're glowing blue. Okay. Ooh. Daddy like. Good job. Oh, there's only one level of zoom, okay. Bam. That, that's nice, I like that. Sniping is actually pretty, um, fulfilling. Let me heal up a bit. Where are some more shots fired? Huh. I don't know where the other people are. I don't remember if I came from this way or not. I think so. Maybe. Yeah, this looks familiar. Okay, so I came from here. God, God bless it, Chris. Come on. Let's not waste our material shooting the floor. Ooh, nope. This is definitely not de oh, what happened? Oh, cutscene. Where the hell is that coming from? Alright, so you're down. God bless it. You guys are some good snipers. I don't know if I need to do... Oh my god, my health. Why is no one warning me that I'm nearly dead? Wow. Okay, well that was a close one. Thank you everyone, I appreciate you looking out for my health. Um, I thought we are a team here. Like, I need you, you need me. I push the buttons, you make decisions that way I don't have to because that's the hardest part of life. Alright, sounds like to the left. Yep, there you go. Yeah, those snipers hit hard. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm just spoiled by modern games. I am used to the, for that sort of scenario, or like I said, a radar showing me where to look or something, but. I'm not used to this just being on my own. Just like whenever you go back to retro games and like suddenly you forget that, oh yeah, saving is something we used to do manually. That's always, that's always a treat. Bless you, coconut. Um, I 
Where'd that little girl go? <laughs> yeah, I I, re I I remember you doing that. I caught, I think it was the, I don't know, second or third time I saw you streaming it. Let me in. What the hell? Ooh. I'm gonna close that door, because I'm a nice guy. I don't want to let the... Let the bugs in. And there's a goy and a coconut on the, the stream, it looks like, in the background. Alright, so, where did that little girl go? Ooh, don't know where the girl went, but I got money. That's more important than saving people. Unless the people are made of money. Oof. What? I thought I killed you. Oh, you guys are... Mm, take more than one round. I can play with the jukebox? That's hilarious. What a weird little thing to drop in. Like, oh, I can buy gun parts out of the CD player. Good to know. <sighs> I do need some potions, though. Yeah, manual saves are the worst. Alright. Unless you're trying to abuse them uh, via save scumming, then they're quite excellent. I don't think I would have been able to, um, with, uh, not Hollow Knight, sh Shovel Knight. I played through, uh, I've gotten all the feats in that game on the Vita slash PS4 version. Um, I do not think I could have done that without save scumming. Just, like, set my manual save, upload it to the cloud, come back, you know, run through a level, and if I have any hiccups, reload the previous save, so on and so forth, so. Pros and cons, I guess. So was that really it? Just, I guess it, oh. Don't let him escape. Stupid little kid. Now oh, look, high potion. Can't pick it up. So I wasted my money on buying one. I hear a kid? Somewhere? Over here? Maybe? Yoo-hoo! Little girl! Or a little boy, I don't know. Denzel, is that you? Deep cut. I actually forgot that I just got uh, Advent Children. Um, They just put out the 4K. Uh, thanks. I just picked that up. I should watch that this weekend. The warehouse. I, I know how to get there. Yeah. It's through that gate. Cool. Can we push the gate? You have the car key. Uh, no. I know someone who does. Should it have cost me nine hundred nine hundred? Sorry, nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents to purchase the four K version of Advent Children. Is there something I'm missing here? Ugh, protect the boy. Maybe the boy should protect himself. Give him one of my three guns and teach him how to shoot. <laughs> sorry, I should pay attention to saving this little. But it wasn't in the inventory. Okay, lead on, little dude. We got shit to do, man. This is why little gremlin things snatch you up. Over here. Nine ninety nine ninety nine. That's amazing.
Did anyone ever ask questions like, what's so special about this one? Because I would have had some stories to tell about that. Like, oh yeah, that one was actually signed by Nomura. Uh, you know, it's actually the rough draft uh, copy. Um, it's got some untested code in there, so you can unlock how to resurrect Aerith in the DVD. <laughs> Oh, missed opportunity. Who's that manager? I want to know his name. Let me carry in that individual so I can... God, I'm sorry. Can we just talk about the ladder? Like, why? Why, Square? Like, why? Like, program it so when I hit X by the ladder, I do some cool flippy up. Like, you literally just showed me, like, flipping on top of, like steeples and you know flipping through the night while fighting lion dog things but safety first three points of contact as I climb a ladder come on anyways what is this why am I me oh I'm supposed to do this or I can do this I mean unless you believe in Predetermination, we're not really supposed to do anything. Materia floater. That sounds fun. Let me see what that is. Materia floater. Raises the level of equipped materia by one. Hmm. Uh, that sounds more fun than a sniper scope for me. So I'll put that on gun number one. God, we really are spoiled with games automating stuff for us. Like, I'm just thinking, like, another thing games now, like, when I go to this gate and I can't open it, it wouldn't look like this. It would be, like, flashing red, or it'd be outlined, or there'd even be, like, yellow paint smeared by the handle. That way I know to open it. Maybe even a flashing green light by it. Sorry, I'm just, like, yeah, whatever. I'm in the zone. Actually, really enjoying this game. Oh, uh, what happened to you? Oh my God, little kid! Why are you so easy to steal? Like, I need to put a freaking Apple tag on you or whatever those things are called. GPS your ass. Speaking of weird, those Apple tags, I just... I don't know. I guess I don't have a problem with losing my shit very often, to the point of where those make sense. Like, the only thing I can think is luggage in the event that you're traveling. Um, because I have had luggage be stolen. But that's about it. game changer. I didn't realize I can just switch to... Huh. I didn't realize that I could switch to first person mode when I was doing that. Like, I can just stay in without, um, zooming in and now I'm in first person mode. Weird. Okay. Don't think I like it, though. Let me guess. Oh! Thanks. Yeah, I know. Come on, kid. I'm your, your hero. Let's do this. Steve Bloom. The voice of Spike Spiegel also voices Vincent Valentine. Uh, used to. I'm curious if they'll bring him back for, um, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, because... So far, they've gone completely new cast for everyone, but Steve Bloom is kind of a, you know, known quantity, if you will, so it'd just be strange to really swap him out. Um, and he kind of nails the whole rugged voice thing, so... I don't know, it'd be nice if they bring him back. Um, I know they've replaced Cloud and Sephiroth and T-1000 
Tifa and like literally everyone else that's been voiced elsewhere before, but. Are my eyes just old? Like, why am I not seeing? Oh, there. Wow, you're way back there. Is there a second one? I guess not. Um, but it would be cool if he continued doing uh, the voice work for Vincent. Then again, like, I really like the the new Yuffie that they got. I think previously, like, in this and in Advent Children, it was Tara Strong as the voice of Yuffie. Um, also, you know, the voice actress of Harley Quinn on the animated Batman, as well as Bubbles on um, Powerpuff Girls. There. Um, that should let you through. But I really do like the new voice actress that they have for, Thanks, for Yuffie in uh, the intermission. Avenge. I couldn't do Mom and Dad, right? But I, I couldn't move. I was too scared. But, but. It's a mature child. Damn, that's cold, V. Just left that boy crying. And then he vanished into the ether. Do I have the... I don't think I have the card key, though. Oh, never mind, I do. Deuces. Where is that? I thought I heard more shooting. Oh, my goodness. Can't see anyone. Why can I not see this person right now? There we go. I probably should have just left this dude. I don't really see, like, maybe I get experience, actually, uh, the game wasn't very clear on that. If I get experience for kills, sorry to really lean forward there for a moment. High potion, don't mind if I do. Um, what? Good shot, Vincent. Two high potions. All right, so let's see. Yeah, this game is kind of grim. They're dark, I should say. Uh, almost like that Final Fantasy. Uh, what the hell is it called? The uh, Abomination, where Jack's going to kill Chaos. I already forget the name of that damn thing. Uh, Final Fantasy Origin. Stranger in of Paradise? We'll go with that. Um, that game... I have not played the demo. I actually downloaded it, and I think... Actually, that expires tonight. Maybe I should play that after this, but... Um... There's no part of it from watching the trailer that made me think this will be a good game. <laughs> Mm. 
So really, I have no reason to play it, is what you're telling me. Because why wouldn't I just play Neo, if that was the case? Mm-hmm. Chaos. Chaos. I'm here for chaos. I need chaos. My name is Jack. And guess what I'm here for? Tacos! Um, that would have been an excellent twist. But that definitely did not happen. Oof, this game, man. Alright. Um, let's see, let me switch guns. And I already lost where this guy was at. That was shooting me. Oh, there you go, I see you. Once again, if this was an HD versus SD... Oh! No, that's a hidden target. <laughs> Kia, 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 and I'm drunk. And my fifth is out. Need to pick up another whiskey next time I go out. Damn. You ain't got nothing on this, son. Alright, um, let me change my guns back. And do I just, like, flip down there? It doesn't seem right, but... Nope. Well, I definitely don't glide down there gently. Because that did not work. Yeah, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do this. Uh, I'm... Y'all don't know me very well as far as gameplay goes, but I like to find the stupidest, most inane way to get to objects. Um, and like, I will be the one to jump up a mountain on the just the perfect cliff angle that doesn't slide me down, but lets me go up, versus going around the mountain and going up the trail the right way. Uh, I speak from experience specifically with Skyrim, where where you go up the mountain to get to the Fusro Dao guys, the ones that teach you the voice. Um, and I took by far the worst way around to get to them. <sighs> Whatever. I am to become chaos. <laughs> that trailer was something else. Like, I don't know what they were aiming for, but... I don't know. Maybe maybe in 15 years when people are replaying that game after it came out, they're going to talk about, hey, this isn't so bad. It's just like Dirge of Cerberus. It was misunderstood at the time. But probably not. Um, alright. So I don't think the game will actually let... I think there's an invisible wall that's keeping me from getting that. So I feel like I should be able to hit that jump. Being completely honest. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like holding the angle into that and... I can kind of see a path behind it that leads from the other way, so I'm guessing there's just an invisible wall and they don't want me uh, cheesing to get my uh, my victory. But whatever. Yeah, Chris, let's focus on the inanimate objects that aren't shooting at you. That's the best way to survive. I swear to God, sometimes I'm impossible to live with. See, I'm still freaking doing it. Despite the fact that people are like yelling, Fire! We're enemies attacking Vincent because he's attacking boxes. This is gonna be an easy one. I like shooting fish in a barrel. I am to become chaos. And chaos is to become me. God, that game is gonna be so. So weird. And the other thing with it, too, um, that may or may not be fun. I, I saw a theory online that was talking about it being, since Final Fantasy 1 is a time travel game, like it's effectively just a, a big loop, uh, that there's the possibility that people got pulled from modern times into that setting, explaining why people are wearing, like, you know, douchey uh, polos and, like, half tucks and stuff like that as far as the outfits go, so... I, I would actually really enjoy if they did something like that. Like a Captain N, the game master, where he just got sucked into the, the world. Oh, I guess I hit a cutscene? Yep. I was still exploring, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So it's trying to find a back way. So it looks like if I take that, however, get up there. And there's no way to get up there. So that looks like that leads to... Oh, nothing. Never mind. Oh, shit. Actually, I'm an idiot. Doors open, Chris. Come on. Alright. Shop. I have 1,500. Really don't have anything I need to buy. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to spend all my money on rifle bullets, just like I did handgun. No. Um, let's get another high potion, though. Those seem to become, uh, to be becoming increasingly rare. Modify, I can't afford anything. But once again, I see the benefit of, uh, not taking XP, but instead updating that. But I think next, you mother lover, get out of here. Vice is very disappointed in you. He wanted me to tell you that. Alright. So, 10,000, ooh. 1,000, sorry. 1,000 gil. 10,000 would have been amazing. So this is going to lead to that little briefcase that I was after. Yep. Or backpack, sorry. Ooh, an elixir. That sounds healthy. Yeah, this game is, um... It's surprising me a bit. Like, that's annoying. I hate that flip down over their invisible walls, but um, yeah, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. I'm not sure if I want to save more of it for later. Um, I'm I, I'm formally, uh, formally informally, whatever. Uh, I think I'm switching out my streams a bit, so I'm going to do Wednesdays and Saturdays now. Give myself some time during the week to play other games, because uh, currently as it stands what I'm doing, the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday streaming, uh, I'm not playing a whole lot of other games myself, so I would like, you know, outside of the stream game, so I would like to switch that up and start playing some PS5 games. Uh, I've been playing Little Big Planet, or not Little Big Planet, it's called Sackboy's Big Adventure. Um, I've been playing that, it's a fun platformer, but, you know, it's one of those things where I thought I would have been done with it a heck, heck of a lot sooner than I am, but. So I plan on starting to play a lot more other games, so I'm going to. I'll bring my streams down to just Wednesday nights and Saturday nights, is what I'm thinking. So hopefully you guys still want to hang out with me during uh, Wednesday nights. I know it's taboo to mess with your stream schedule, because that's when everyone, you know, they get used to. But I like to think that we're cool enough where you guys don't mind. You're not suddenly going to send hate mail to my house, or show up uninvited to kick my door down and just start screaming at me. Um, so, that's that. But I'm wondering if I... I think I might save this for... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep on this one for a minute. Um, my guess is that I'll probably do this Wednesday and next Saturday, and then maybe... If I remember the length of this game correctly, that should put a good amount of damage into the game. Um, I don't think I'll finish the game on stream. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I'm kind of digging it, so I, do, I definitely want to keep playing it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Come on. Mach oh, you want me using? Mach oh, I'm full up on machine gun bolts. I probably should just be using that then. All right, let's do that. Say hello to my little friend. Whee! Run down here. Limit breaker. Die already. Oh, I forgot that my uh, main gun that I've upgraded it, so it does it does outclass um, the rifle and the machine gun at the moment because I uh, upgraded the frame. Is there someone who's shooting me? Goddamn right, I'm here. Oh, my health. Oof. 
I don't know what got me, but it got me good. And I don't quite understand what chains are. Because that's just I killed guys between getting hit? I don't know. I need a sip of water, though. By sip, I mean several gulps. But... Oh, I'm a little bit of a fish sometimes. All right. Handgun bullets. So I think uh, canonical with um, as far as it goes with ammo, uh, aside from I dumped a shit ton of money to standard bullets, so I think that gave me a nice edge. I think the trick is I'm just going to have to keep switching between guns, um, and that should keep me in good order. So far, it seems to be working that way. I do like that the shops are like literally just like every four feet now. All right, so I could upgrade my normal barrel. So the rifle or machine gun? I think I'll upgrade the machine gun. Ugh, that's not a lot, though. So what if I upgrade the normal barrel? That's going to up the power by... 60... 60, short barrel, 45... So, I don't know. Like I said, life's about making bad choices and living with them, so... Fuck it. Let's, uh, upgrade the griffin. My machine gun. Cutscene! Unlocked. I remember Cloud being in... I thought he was earlier in the game, but... Maybe they saved him as a secret for later. God. I miss Square being goofy. Because they don't do Goofy that much anymore. Not as much as I wish they did. Um. Oh my goodness. I am getting bumped hard. Uh, I'm going to try and handle those people up top first. I'll come down for the heavily armed. Um. But playing... What is that game right now? Fantasian on iOS. The... Ooh, the Sakaguchi. Um. Apple Arcade exclusive. There's a good amount of, like, humor into that. Like, the good old-fashioned Final Fantasy 4 through 6 humor where the stupid little characters had, like, I don't know. It just, it's back to that, like, it's almost, I can't even think of good words. I'm trying not to die while going through to find rations. Um, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, whatever. Life's about making decisions and sticking with them. And then firing materia. Ooh! I'm not above cheesing. If I can get him to throw those rockets into the wall, I am all for that. Oh, nope. Cheese didn't work. Uh, how did I miss with my materia? Sorry, I need mean to like semi focus right now because I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, I'm out of material. I can't or imagine I can't cast. Holy shit. Oh, I don't know what red ether does, so I'm not going to use it. Oh, uh, let's use a limit breaker. I don't know how this works. I probably should have used it at least once before now. Oh, it refills my health. That's nice. And I am going to get my ass kicked now. Probably should not be trying to melee a boss. 
about what did we say. Life's about making bad decisions. And, um, for the sake of not continuing to make those bad decisions. Oh, shit. I don't... Oh, I can th throw magic? Ugh. Come on, Chris. You are the worst. There we go. That's how you cheese a boss down. Nice. I thought I was boned. How could I? You don't mess with Vincent Valentine. Hmm. That was anticlimactic. I thought there was going to be some, you know, farewell. You know, this is the first time I've ever felt the rain on my skin. But then again... I hadn't even seen this guy until a few days ago. Don't worry, it didn't rain all Final Fantasy VII. Hi! So you're Vincent Valentine. Maybe. Keeper of the Proto-Materia. Whatever that is. Proto. Materia. Yes. Yes. The key to controlling Omega. We know you have it. Oh, it's that power I just I used to kill that now. boss. And I'll kill you quickly. No. <laughs> Not one to bargain, are we? Mm-mm. Okay, go ahead. She's not actually gonna kill me. There's still a lot of game to go. That's not fair. She's got a sword gun like Squall. So it's more like a battle F or whatever from Star Trek. The Klingon weapon. Don't know how to pronounce that properly. Oh, Diablos. That looks like... That's right, that's what the on-rails ending is, is me turning into this form. That's not convenient. You, oh no, it's the good... It's the good legs, not the bad legs. I thought those were the bad legs from Rosso coming to collect me. Ching. Ooh, I got an S for targets destroyed. And magics casted, and Mako collected, and times KO'd. Nice, not too bad. I got ranked in A. Better than the B. Goy is giving me such dirty looks. If you've played uh, Persona 5 and you know how uh, Morgana likes to constantly nag you about how it's time for bed and go to bed, you don't have time for that, it's time for bed. That is this gentleman right here. Uh, they totally stole the character Morgana from Mr. Goya because you see that grumpy look on his face? That's because it's past my bedtime. And it's my bedtime because he doesn't go to bed unless I go to bed. So I'm ruining his sleep. Calculating points. What do I got? Alright, so as much as I want to go for money, I think I'm going to do one last level of changing it to XP. Um, and then next time maybe I'll upgrade some of my gear. But this seems to be the only way I can get XP, so... Like, there's no XP during the level from killing enemies, so... It just makes sense to keep dumping it into... But then again, I guess gold is limited to how I access it anyway, so. Ay, ay, ay. What's one to do? Make decisions and accept the outcome. That's what we're going to do. All right. 
So let me see if I can modify. I've got money for stuff. I will modify my normal barrel. Get that upgraded. Except that's the decision I made in calling it. Let's see what starts in the next scene. I'm going to wake up with a uh, Julia Gulia. Oh no, Lucretia. Time for a good old flashback. Lucrezia. Oh, Lucrezia, sorry. Why? You know? That boss has regular enemy later written all over him. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I. You're not wrong. I hate when the games do that. Like it's a big deal for the first boss, and then suddenly you're facing him like you in happen? all the levels. It's Hojo. Yeah, same. I, I do enjoy this Hojo. This is back when they weren't afraid to make games. Um, trying to think of a good word without being shitty about it, but games weren't super high production. Everything needs to be uh, perfectly act um, acted. Um comprehensive? I don't know, I can't think of any good words. Which means it's getting, one, late for me, but two, uh, that I should shut up and enjoy the cutscene. Headquarters under siege. And I have thoughts on that in a moment. I'm awake again. Only it's the one armed lady this time. Well, look who's awake. Get me out of this back to tank. Hold on, I'll release you. Where's 21B? I need that droid to get me out of here. Where am I? Safe inside the WRO headquarters. I carried you back here from Edge, after you collapsed during your fight with Deep Ground. It seems like the beast inside you went a little wild back there. Mm-hmm. This happened often? Went wild? Do you mean chaos? Chaos, indeed. Chaos? Your body harbors the chaos gene? Maybe. Oh, so that explains your relationship with Dr. Lucrezia Crescent. Were you the product of one of her experiments? Lucrezia's... experiments? Mm-hmm. I apologize. That wasn't what I meant. Wait. Lucrezia... was researching... Maybe? Don't tell me. You didn't know. 
Come on, Vincent. You're supposed to be smarter than this. Crescent, general class A scientist specializing in biotechnology. It's not how computers work. In her research thesis, The Planet's Pulse, she refers to chaos as one of the sentient xenoforms residing among us. However, the theories that she presented in her work were so abstract and complex that no one should take them seriously. I'm so sorry. Awaken. Hmm? Are you even listening? Are you right? Can I see that thesis? Oh, she's born on July 22nd. On top of being obscure, it was she's never a cancer. to the Shinra database. All I know is what I saw while going through the company's archives. Vincent, have you recovered already? Maybe. I do harbor chaos within me. Fuck! I just realized we're going back to chaos, aren't we? God damn it. I'm here for chaos. Vincent, I have chaos in me. <laughs> he is to become chaos. Fuck. Jack's gonna show up in this game and he's gonna be the final boss, isn't he? Son of a bitch. I see what you're up to, Nomura. The status of our keeper. It always leads to chaos. His location remains unchanged since the confrontation. We can assume this is the WRO headquarters. It's the same thing with Kingdom Hearts. Good. It's always about chaos. Two birds with one stone. And now you're a normal hacker? You don't need the cool little headset? Oh, it's our hacking materia. Better save that for later. How is she just sitting on those little bar thingies? I have so many questions. This is why I shouldn't be allowed to play Final Fantasy. Or any game, really. So, Rosso the, Rosso Crimson, the Crimson told you that of the Sphere. is the key to controlling Omega. Mm-hmm. Her yeah. words, not mine. Any ideas? Soul rot of Terra Corrupt. Quelling impurity, purging the stream. To beckon forth an ultimate fate. Behold mighty chaos. Omega's squire to the lofty heavens. Where'd you... A passage from Dr. Crescent's thesis. But that's all I know. Unfortunately, I only saw a fragment of the document. However, chaos, Omega, and... You... All seem to be connected to Dr. Crescent in some way. Mm -hmm. There's no other explanation. I think we'll need to gather more data on her to get anywhere. So, like, what are all these other screens doing right now? That would be interesting, Canonical. Um, I mean, they kind of already have that with, like, Dissidia, but I don't think that's official. I don't know how they rank that game, but... I mean, even between... Uh, Dissidia and... Theatre, though, my little personal favorite there, uh, they're all about Cosmo... Or, sorry, um... Yeah, Cosmos, uh, the, the, the light and chaos, the dark, and the battle, and that's how all the Final Fantasies are connected, so... They've been using that as a bridge for a minute, so... It would be... And I hate... Well, they can't... Mm. I guess they could do that. Shit. It's like, I hate to say it, but I would enjoy it if they did that with uh, Final Fantasy Origin. If they use that as a bridge to connect the overall universe, I'd be okay with that to some extent. Um, just because I've already dug it with Dissidia, I thought it was fun. Theatre of them, I thought it was fun. Yeah, I didn't remember this, but, you know, whatever. It's a Final Fantasy. I'm used to it. That used to be a bullet point for him. 45 minutes of cutscenes. And then Hideo Kojima was like, 45 minute cutscene, you say? No, no, 45 minutes of cutscenes. Not a 45 minute cutscene. 
Hmm, let's me do 45 minute cutscene. And then Kojima, Kojima does his thing. It couldn't be. Not to be confused with Nojima, the scenario writer for this game. BRBs. Cool. Start. Temp save. Return to title screen. Um, I'm actually, because we are at 10 p.m. my time, um, I'm going to hit this temp save up so I have a bookmark for next time. Because Goy is brooding at me from the corner, as you can see back there. Um, so I'm going to wrap this stream up for a minute. Um, you're sorry, in a minute, for a minute, whatever. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII, excellent game on PS2, apparently. Um, not nearly as bad as I remember it being, so. Let's see, extra features, if there's anything cool in here. Event viewer, character viewer, extra missions. No side missions. Event viewer. How does this lay out? Uh, which system was it? Shuts your control off after 10 minutes of inactivity. <laughs> uh, that's probably Xbox 360's where that started. Huh, I can't watch any of the scenes yet. I guess I gotta complete the entire freaking game. That's annoying. It'd be kind of cool if I could just, like, watch and catch up. Um, not that I've been confused at this point, but... Let's see if this even shows... Yeah, so characters... So this is all blank right now. That's weird. Or annoying. Or both. you think that they would unlock that as you go. Um... I assume if I go to GameStar, yeah, I was to say, it lets me load my file. So I'm on... Oh, that's cool. So they actually let you go back and um, kind of like pick up where you're at. So so Calm, Midgar, The Wastelands, Edge, WR Headquarters, Prelude to Mayhem, WRO Assault. Cool. I like that. Um, so, yeah, so I think it was Xbox 360 that started shutting off your controllers. So let me go ahead and shut this off, and let me switch scenes real fast. So I have officially added that to the list now with games in rotation, dot hack, infection. I still want to work, look at me, I'm going old school over here, I'm wrapping my controller. I haven't done that in forever. I don't even know why I'm doing that right now. Um... Usually I just unplug and I have a drawer for this now, but so dot hack infection. I'm still wanting to play through that. I just needed a break. Um, want to try some different games and also vary it up for the streams. I think I might just continue that on my own. Uh, maybe pop in from time to time with a dot hack if I don't have anything else for others to watch. Um, because let's just play 15 JRPGs at once. Apparently, uh, Champions Return to Arms. I know I've been playing that on the stream and I've gone. Um, I don't know. I think I'm like uh probably a quarter to a third through that game so i could just keep running that one out until it's finished let's see so then oh it's weird hearing myself like this now so added dirge of cerberus and marvel ultimate alliance i probably end up dropping that game so we'll see i i kind of don't like it and it seems kind of way too long um oh that's weird my chat kind of warped everyone's names on this one I blame, I blame you, uh, Canonical. Let's see, so let's drop this like this. There we go. Do, 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 do. Alright, I'm good with that. Good enough. Um, that's the story of my life. Let's be good enough with that. But yeah, so going back to your thought on the whole idea of Nomura wrapping all this up um, into a not a bridge but um whatchamacallit like yeah i mean i guess a bridge but just something to connect the story of all the games it's kind of intriguing and i could see them going that way um because what do they have to lose to be honest real gamer fox i appreciate your follow i know you're not here tonight but thank you for following let me bump this around a little bit playing with my ui just a bit um all right so let's do all that so a little bit cleaner like I said, I am changing my streaming schedule, so I will be doing Wednesdays and Saturdays, I think. Uh, but I did bump the window, because originally I was just going to do two hours per night. 
So now I've kind of bumped it to two and a half hours to make up, to split the difference. Plus I tend to, you know, like right now it's 10, 12, so I tend to go over a little bit longer. Saturdays especially, because, you know, work schedule and whatnot, for the most part I work a, a normal 9 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday, so it gives me a little bit more freedom on the weekend to stick around and play later. And JRPGs are good stuff, and I know this game technically isn't a JRPG, but the story is there, and I enjoy that. I enjoy my Final Fantasies. Oh, and I will have you know, Canonical, you did um, unintentionally ruin uh, my phone, because now, after watching you stream all that uh, D4DJ, um, now that's popping up on my feeds. So, apparently just watching you stream it is now making it pop up on everything on my phone. So, like, if I go on Twitter, I keep on getting ads for it. Um, so, I think I should probably actually download it and try it, is really what they're telling me I need to do. So, I don't know what you did or how you did it, but you're working your magic, and now D4DJ is... Uh, the game of the land of the people, so congratulations. And of course, now that I'm mentioning it, I'm trying to find out on my feed, it suddenly doesn't want to show up, but rest assured it has been popping up quite a bit, so I mean, part of me is like, let's go ahead and let's get it, let's download it, um, but then I realize the amount of energy and time you have uh, you mentioned putting into it, and others for that matter, and it's like, is that a hole I want to go down right now? Um, the answer is usually yes. But, uh, we'll see when we get there. Last thing I want to, um... Oh, and I, I, I think I might have mentioned the Discord. Uh, I don't know if I did or not. Let's see. I made to who I'm a switch. Oh, uh, and Twitter started trying to get me to play Lost Word. So Big Brother is everywhere. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like, I've known before with, like, Instagram and stuff like that, uh, if you have that on your phone or if you have it open and you're talking it listens it picks apart words and phrases but I just forget how connected everything is because um I don't know like I, I forget like that my browser I like I look something up at work and then suddenly it shows up on uh my home browser for something and I forget that like either my google accounts logged in onto both or something is split between the two and it's just really weird coming home and then seeing stuff that is extremely work related on my personal computer and that that ends up bumming me out just a little bit uh because i like to come home and not think about work hence coming on the stream um anyways so the other news so what i was starting to say with uh discord is um i think i actually have set up or landed or got connected to getting a theater of them arcade cabinet so i'm very excited about that um more money than I was expecting, but I'm also looking around, and it's also, it's a weird thing. It's a, it's, uh, a, it's weird how things work out because with the servers going down on on the game itself in April, that means that there's no more updates, and a lot of arcades, I guess, over in Japan, because it's no longer supported, are no longer carrying the arcades. So they're decommissioning it. Um, sending it back or selling it third party. So there's a lot of them that are available third party or they're being released to the market, if you will. But because it's also being disconnected, that influx going to th people such as myself, um, there's higher demand for it. Uh, because now we're like, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to disappear in five years. I want this arcade cabinet. So it's weird because it's like there's an influx of what's going on out there about what how much is available um versus who wants it versus whatever so it's just it's just really weird to see all this stuff play out and then like does it mean it's more does it is it less um hang on video went goofy on me so it's just one of those things where uh, i'm excited for getting it but i think the price has gone up not down like it should considering that the market's increased um but I would just be happy to get it. Um, hey, Callisti, welcome back. Talking about uh, the Theatre of Them All-Star Carnival Arcade Cabinet that I think I, I have a seller lined up, which is exciting, but there's also a backlist um, because I'm not the only person in the world that wants that thing, and it's a fairly reasonably priced arcade cabinet uh, given what, you know, some arcades go for like three, $4,000 for like, you know, if you want like a Street Fighter cabinet or something like that. Um, so I'm seeing these between like 1200 and 1500, uh, which is a healthy chunk of money. However, um, 
I, I, I don't spend a lot of money, so, you know, the things that I do have, my hobbies that I am into, figured why not, um, but there's also, like, a up to six month wait list for it, uh, he has, the person I'm talking to has other buyers lined up, and he needs to make sure that he has cabinets that match up to their sales first, or that they're still interested in it, um, because, you know, it's like a six month wait, and you can, you know, my finances could change, um, I could have found another unit somewhere. I could have just decided I don't want it anymore. Uh, my significant other could have told me, hell no, it's me or that machine, and, you know, choose wisely. It could be a billion different things for each of these cases. So he's just kind of going down the list to see where I fall in it, checking with people as units become available. Um, but I am pretty excited because, I mean, honestly, tomorrow I, I, I'm probably going to go up to the arcade that's 45 minutes away just to play it again. Um you know, I've done that two or three Sundays in a row now where I'll just go up there for two hours playing the, playing it because it's it's nice, like, to just relax the Final Fantasy music. And, you know, for the most part, I tune out. And you, you know, you can plug in your headphones to the machine. You don't hear any of the arcade, and you just kind of do your thing for two to three hours. Um, so it's, it's really nice. So I, I'm very excited at the prospect that I can actually line this up for a sale because Square doesn't make any more machines so what's out there is out there and that's it so there there will be no more made yeah no i'm i'm definitely going to be using it actually it's kind of and don't tell the cats this yet but i'm kind of planning it right at their tower where they're both sleeping right now like you, you can see him down here and pardon me i'm going to shift the camera a little bit um and i don't know how motion translates for y'all but you can see those two paws up there. That's Coconut sleeping in the top of that. So she's enjoying it. She she looks hilarious right now like that. Um, and then Goya's down there. So I plan on, when I was originally planning on getting it, I didn't have that cat tower yet. Um, so, I'm, you know, I was going to put it right there, and it'd be nice to kind of have in the background. Because, um, I don't know, the cabinet's done up nice. It's I'm very excited. I'll just say that. So I, I'm super excited because for a minute... Uh, when I was talking to different arcades and stuff like that, there a lot of them won't sell what they have because they're under some sort of contract where you know they either ride it until it dies or when they're done with it, they actually send it back um, for it to be decommissioned officially by Square. So it's, for a minute, for there's you know probably a two week period where it's like shit. I guess this isn't gonna happen. Um, which I realize it's one game, it's not the end of the world, but. It'd just be really cool. I have a lot of nostalgia, love, whatever you want to call it, for Final Fantasy. And if you see in the background, I've got my Distant Worlds concert. That's a Goya. Uh, and then I've got my Dear Friends concert, because I've been to all these different Final Fantasy concerts um, throughout the years. I don't know, I think I've probably been to like nine or ten of them. Between Usually it's in Chicago, um, but there's been one or two in Detroit. Um, I've been to two of them in Atlanta that they've done there couple and when i said detroit i mean the detroit area like some of them have been at a, a college town nearby called ann arbor um yeah those final fantasy concerts are amazing i i can't get enough of them and not even just final fantasy concerts but game concerts in general one of uh sorry i might have been a little hot on the mic there but um one of the concerts that i really enjoyed in atlanta was Trying to think of a good way to quickly go about it. So these two concerts were done by Arnie Roth. Uh, he's the guy who heads up the Distant Worlds concerts, like, proper. Um, his son, whose name is escaping me, something Roth, his son does a smaller one where it's chamber music, so it's up to 11 instruments. Um, he does that show, and that is called an Intimate World. Is it Intimate World? I'm blanking on it, um, but it's you know it's intimate songs of Final Fantasy. So a lot of the the either more romantic versions or the simple ones that have not big orchestras, but just like a cello and a piano or something like that. Think of like the Final Fantasy six slash three on Super Nintendo. Um, the opening theme where it's just dun 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 dun. I'm horrible at music, but um, so that's Dark World, and I've seen that performed live between. The like I said, I forget his name, Roth, but um, the com not the composer, the conductor for that show, and Nobu Uemetsu, he played the keyboard. 
So those two just kind of duetted, and they did the the Dark World theme, and it was amazing because there's also a tiny little venue. Um, by tiny, I mean like it seats 500 people, and that's it. So it's a small auditorium. So I was probably, you know, like a hundred and no, oh, 120 feet maybe from Nobu Uemetsu as he played themes from Final Fantasy VI. Like, that's fucking amazing. That made my night. That made my week. That made my month. It probably made my year. Um, I was set to go to one in, what was that? That was March in 2020. Um, but two days before the concert, uh, a little thing called COVID happened and shut down all of Michigan. So that canceled that. They rescheduled it to December. And obviously that didn't happen because the pandemic was still going on. Um, and it was still shut down in Michigan. So they were going to do a virtual concert for Dear Friends for these two shows up here. Uh, in Grand Rapids, which is on the other side of the state for me, like a two-hour drive. Um, and I figured, hey, that would be safe because it's a virtual concert. But, you know, so I bought a virtual ticket for it. Uh, and then, like, a week before the show was supposed to happen, they canceled the digital show because of the pandemic. So there's three shows that have been canceled for me now due to the pandemic for that. And I really want to get back out to these things. But I don't know. They'll happen eventually. But, uh, sorry, long story short, so The Sun, the Intimate Chamber Music, um, Intimate Music with Final Fantasy, I forget what the subtitle is, but they've got two records, A New World, that's what it is. So, A New World, Intimate Music from Final Fantasy, has two uh, CDs, but that group also did in Atlanta a show of just general game music, uh, not just limited to Final Fantasy, and that was fantastic. Um, yeah, thank you, I'm really hoping it'll happen. Like, it has want things to get back to normal so badly. I know everyone does, but, like, I don't know. Like, I, it's somewhat frustrating for me because this entire time, the entire pandemic, I've been working. Work has actually gotten more chaotic for me during the pandemic and because I work in service. So it's just gone up and up and up, especially at the start of the pandemic. Um, a lot of uh, work shifted from retail not existing to my business as a service so it just not my business but where i work but it just it sucks to have been working through the pandemic and you know different people have either been off or you know that their lives have been different to where it feels different um it's just it my life has felt the exact same like i go to work i come home um i'm exposed to risk every day work's gotten more chaotic when everyone else is complaining about Everything is boring. I hate being locked in. And I understand everyone's reality is different and everyone's uh, headaches are different. But I just like, fuck, if I'm living everything else normal, I'm going to work like normal. Like, I would love to just go to a freaking concert like normal. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a tough one, uh, Canonical. Because um, I'm assuming that doesn't happen in the U.S. And if it does happen in the U.S., it's or sorry, North America in general. Um, I know you're uh, Northeast, but I was for a minute. Um, but yeah, so all North America. It's probably going to be limited to Los Angeles, maybe New York, but probably just Los Angeles. I feel like whenever there's something nerdy like that, it's limited to L.A. Normally it's limited to around E3, but I mean, there's been a couple of those, even with Final Fantasy concerts. The, the first Distant Worlds um, happened at E3 in like 2000 three or four i think um was the first time that they did it in the u.s so or some form of it i should say hey go ahead. sorry he's chilling right here yeah that's rough man i know conventions are a hot topic right now too some people are good with the idea and then let's be honest there's the con cons have always been a risk because there's always con crud um we everyone already knows that you know, like illnesses spread like wildfire conventions uh usually it's the flu or whatever other pax nonsense is going around that year so when we actually have this you know highly fatal uh you know covid19 going around the whole idea of having conventions is crazy Kupocon. 
You know, I'm going to go on a limb and say that is Final Fantasy related, sir. See, Morphonica is playing for the Anime Expo's digital, uh, but it's five bands for 2.5 hours, so they'll probably play like three songs. Well, I mean, it's five for, so that's a half hour each, so they'll probably do like, my guess is they do six songs, six or seven songs each. Um, but no, I, I get you on that. That would, that'd be rough. But, you know, if you go there, if you like the scene, I'm sure it'll still be worthwhile. Um, just like I've been looking at, um, if you're familiar with the, uh, what is it called, Nerdcore, um, there's uh, Mega Ran. I like a lot of his stuff. He's actually coming to per, uh, to perform probably about 15 minutes for me in October. Um, so, like, I was on the fence, like, do I go, do I not go? Because he's there with three other uh, Nerdcore artists that I'm not familiar with. Like, I know by proxy or, you know, whatever, um, by name and reputation, like, MC Frontalot's going to be there. I think someone, was it MC Chris? Um, but it's, it's people that I'm not familiar with. So do I pay to go to a show that's two and a half hours long for one dude? Maybe. And maybe I like the other things. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. So I'm on the fence, but that's, that's a little bit different going 15 minutes down the road, uh, versus you flying across the U S paying for hotel, paying for the convention, paying for airfare. So I, I, I get your, your concern there, but maybe it works out. Who knows? Um, all right, so the other people of the show, because I just had to look it up. So it's Mega Ran, MC Frontalot, and Schaefer the Dark Lord. No clue who that is. Um, maybe I'll check that out before the concert comes, and that'll be a decision whether or not I want to check this out. So who knows? But I think, you know, we're hitting 1030, and Goya has pushed the keyboard off the desk at this point, so... Um, I think I am going to call it, unless y'all got something you wanted me to bring up or cover. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out. It's always always a good time. I appreciate you guys chatting with me. Uh, Kalisti, Canonical, everyone else that's dropped by. Uh, thank you for coming through the stream. It's always a good time. Um, and other than that, I will be back on Wednesday at 7.30. And hopefully I'll see you guys later or see what you're up to. Kalisti, I still, uh, like I said, I appreciate you sharing everything that you're working on with your game. No, you don't have to, but it's always fun to look at. And Canonical, I sh I'm sure I will see you on your stream. So take care, everyone.